You often say that acting is not your calling, yet everybody who works with you says that you are the most prepared and you always demand multiple takes and you always strive for perfection. How could you dislike something you're so good at? <laughs> you're very nice. <laughs> I mean, it's two sides of the same coin. I, I'm uh, so frightened of it not being perfect that very often I just say I won't do the project at all. But uh, it, when I do, if you can convince me to do a project, then I, I tend to be um, incredibly thorough and meticulous and paranoid about trying to get it exactly right. How do they convince you? Well, sometimes it's difficult and sometimes it's quite easy. This one was very easy because it was Meryl Streep, it was Stephen Frears, and it was a really uh, enchanting script that was funny and sad at the same time, which is always good, and, uh, and had this rather complex adult role for me. Now, I must warn you, I work very hard. I study an hour every day, sometimes two. Well, do you feel related to this guy, to Sinclair? Because he's also an actor, but we don't see him doing any acting in the movie. Uh, you do, actually, right at the beginning, if you remember. He does a bit of Shakespeare, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, yes, I certainly um, uh, relate to his plight. I've met quite a lot of people like him uh, who love acting. They really adore it. It's, it's in their blood. It's all they want to do, but they, they've never managed to find a career. And um, uh, the older they get, you know, it can become quite a sad position to be in. And I think he's in, he was in quite a sad position. This is, as your viewers know, all based on a true story. Uh, he was in a sad position until he met this extraordinary eccentric millionaire uh, woman in New York uh, who gave him status by being her husband and manager and uh, sort of ecury. Okay, then what is your calling? What, what, what does it take for you to leave acting and go to something else? Well, I have, for five years, I've been largely uh, doing this political campaign in Britain. Uh, again, I didn't mean to. I didn't think I'm going to do five years. I thought I was going to do five days, but it's turned into five years, which is, was the same with acting for me. I meant to do one year, and it's turned into 35. Well, okay, that's, you're talking about the hacking scandal. Yeah. But we did not see you doing anything uh, for the Brexit, weren't you not? In, weren't you interested? I was very interested, uh -huh. but um, like many political issues, I wasn't entirely clear which side I supported. Uh, I'm cursed always to see both sides of political arguments, and um, I, I mean, I voted that we stay in the EU, but I, I have some sympathy for the Brexiteers. Obviously, you have these uh, political interests and you're versed in uh, these uh, political affairs. Yeah. But we, we don't see you doing any uh, political movies. How come? Um, well, I quite like having a... I, I've liked the fact that the political stuff has been such a clean break from the world of show business and make-believe. Suddenly, uh, dealing with real life instead of a synthetic creation of life has been very uh, bracing and um, fresh. So uh, I, uh, to, to, to mix the two up by making a movie about politics uh, w would not really be my cup of tea. The truth is that I'm going to be writing a movie about a teacher. Who's going to be in it? I'm not at liberty to discuss that, you know. Matt hasn't committed yet. Matt Damon? Oh, my God. Of course, your roles are mostly comedic. Have you um, ever been enticed to do more dramatic stuff? Or do you think comedy is, is a better thing for you to do? Or you feel well, I quite like it when there's a bit of both going on. And that's one of the reasons I like this film, because uh, there's comedy, but there's also uh, there's a, there's quite a lot of sadness. And uh, hopefully, it's quite touching. And, and I even had to do some uh, relatively serious bits in this film. They need joy. They need music. I'm afraid. Don't, don't be. They're going to love you. Why does he love her that much? I think when they first met, he probably was very attracted by her money. And, uh, but then after, the, as the years went on, I think he genuinely became uh, 
they became they, they really loved each other we could have been a family we are a family are we not happy expand your diaphragm florence oh.